The Fishermen of Wexford by John Boyle O'Reilly. There is an old tradition sacred held in Wexford town that says, Upon St Martin's Eve no net shall be let down. No fisherman of Wexford shall upon that holy day set sail or cast a line within the scope of Wexford Bay. Alas for Wexford, once upon that holy day came a wondrous shoal of herring to the waters of the bay. The fishers and their families stood out upon the beach and all day watched with wistful eyes the wealth they might not reach. Such shoal was never seen before and keen regrets went round. Alas for Wexford, what is that grating sound? The boats keel on the shingle, mothers, wives, ye well may grieve. The fishermen of Wexford mean to sail on Martin's Eve. O oh, stay ye, cried the women wild, stay, cried the men white-haired, and dare ye not do this thing your fathers never dared. No one can thrive who tempts the Lord. Away, they cried. The Lord ne'er sent a shoal of fish, but as a fisherman's reward. And scoffingly they said, Tonight our nets shall sweep the bay, and take the saint who guards it, should he come across our way. The keels have touched the water, and the crews are in each boat, and on St Martin's Eve the Wexford fishers are afloat. The boats have reached good offing, and as out the nets are thrown, the hearts ashore are chilled to hear the sowing sea winds moan. Like a human heart that loved and hoped for some return, to find at last but hatred, so the sea wind seemed to moan. But ah, the Wexford fishermen, their nets had scarcely sunk one inch below the foam, when lo, the daring boatmen shrink with sudden awe and whitened lips and glaring eyes agape, for breast high threatening from the sea uprose a human shape. Beyond them in the moonlight, hand upraised with awful mien, waving back and pointing landward, breast high in the sea, twas seen. Thrice it waved and thrice it pointed, then with clenched hand upraised, the awful shape went down below before the fishers as they gazed. Gleaming whitely through the water, fathoms deep, they saw its frown. They saw the white hand clenched above it, sinking slowly down. And then there was a rushing neat the boats, and every soul was filled with greed. They knew it was the seaward going shoal. Defying the dread warning, every face was sternly set. And wildly did they ply the oar and wildly haul the net. But two boats' crews obeyed the sign. God-fearing men were they. They cut their lines, left their nets, and homeward sped away. But darkly, rising sternward, did God's wrath in tempest sweep, and they, of all the fishermen, that night escaped the deep. Mothers, wives, sweethearts, sires, well might ye mourn next day, for seventy fishers' corpses strewed the shores of Wexford Bay.